What's up, Bama Insider Nation? Trey Entity here for the next of our two biggest storyline series where we approach the two biggest questions for each Alabama football position group heading into the 2021 season. Before we get into this video today, guys, hit the like button for me, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that super thanks button as a personal way to thank the Bama Insider staff. We appreciate all of your support. Today's position group we are going to be addressing is the defensive line, and the two specific questions we are going to be answering are can Alabama replace Christian Barmore's inside pass rush, and what should we expect from LeBron Ray in 2021? Let's start with the first question, can Alabama replace Christian Barmore's inside pass rush? On the right side of that defensive line, Christian Barmore was a monster. He redshirted his freshman year, and as a redshirt freshman, he was named to the freshman All-SEC team. In 2020, his redshirt sophomore year, he was named to the third team All-America and the first team SEC by the Associated Press. He had 37 tackles last season, a team high eight sacks, and a team high three force fumbles, three passes defense as part of the national championship Crimson Tide this past season. He recorded a team high tying two sacks in the win against Arkansas and totaled a season high as he tackled five Florida Gators in the SEC championship game. He was selected as the defensive most valuable player of the national championship game. He had five tackles in the win over Ohio State. And after that game was over, there are some questions on whether or not Christian Barmore would return to Alabama for his redshirt junior year or move on to the NFL after three seasons with the Crimson Tide. Cecil Hurd of the Tuscaloosa News had this same question and asked LeBron Ray's thoughts at the end of the 2021 season. Christian, were you undecided going into the into the championship game and did your performance in the championship game enter into your decision? Well, no, that was really a family, that was really a family decision and I'm, and my coach's decision because what I was doing and we just like, to me, I think I had a real, real dominant year and just like, I just, I thought I really had a really, really good time. Now the question we posed, will Alabama be able to fill in for the pass rush on the inside? Like I mentioned, he had eight sacks. That was a team high and also three forced fumbles. The inside pass rush was a key for this Alabama defense in 2020. We saw it started with that Georgia game, really, where Christian Barmore attacked that Georgia offensive line and made it impossible for the Bulldogs to create any kind of offense. This season, Alabama is going to rely a bit more on their defensive backs and linebackers, but the defensive line is going to have a big role. And Losing Christian Barmore to the NFL as he was drafted by the Patriots with the number 38 overall pick in the second round this past draft, Alabama does have to find somebody to replace that role. One player we've talked a whole lot about on BamaInsider.com and a guy I love talking about for his elevated role this upcoming season, the guy we had the chance to talk to at SEC Media Days, Fidarian Mathis. He might be a little bit soft-spoken, but I believe he can match the energy of Christian Barmore. He learned under him for the past several seasons and has that same kind of explosive edge about him. So we kind of talk about his scouting report for Fidarian Mathis. He is... First thing I want to talk about are his hands. He, he knows how to use them when trying to tackle the run game. He reads opponents very well and attacks them on the back door, making them use the sidelines making them and making leaning blockers pay by pulling on them. He has excellent extension and prevents opponents from uprooting him with his size. I think Fidarian Mathis could certainly fill in this role this season, and while Christian Barmore left big shoes to fill, Phil Mathis is coming in with big dreams as he hopes to get drafted to the NFL after this season as well. Fedarian Mathis, I believe, will be able to match that pass rush that we saw from Christian Barmore in 2020. The second question today, what do we expect from LeBron Ray in 2021? Well, LeBron Ray did suffer a foot injury back in 2017. In 2018, he worked in a rotational role in his redshirt freshman season. In 2019, he earned a starting spot at defensive end. But then he had another lower leg injury against South Carolina that season. He would return this past year in 2020 after missing most of that 2019 injury and battled injuries once again. He only played in seven total games and made three starts on the season. He was selected to the Outland Trophy watch list before the season and was also named the Bronco Naguris Trophy watch list as well. But injuries have plagued LeBron throughout his college career. What do we expect in 2021? Can he stay healthy? Um, having some of the people come back, um, I think, is a, a big uh, positive. Um, we've, you know, had a, even last year, had a chance to, you know, grow as a whole. 
and get better and um you know trust one another i think that's one of the things especially with d-line you gotta trust the, the man beside you and he's gonna do his job and do his you know at his best so you know we just challenge each other every day out there on the field so. i think having dr matt ray and strength and conditioning coordinator david Ballou by his side has only helped lebrian ray now, he did suffer injuries this past season, but I believe he will come back and use his 295-pound, 6'5 frame to be a key part of this defensive line. He does wear the number 18. Now, we saw him wear 89 in the past. And while people may expect LeBron Ray to come out a little bit slower, I think he's going to come out with a head of steam and look to really catch NFL scouts by surprise. As we make our own scouting report about him, I'd like to note his violence as a strong side defensive end. He lines up all over the line for Alabama, and we could see that this year. Don't expect to see him in nose guard as much, but we could see that on pass rush packages. Ray is a very, very athletic defensive lineman and gets out of his stance very quickly. That's where the violence, the aggressiveness comes into play. He tackles vertically and comes inside with a violent, with violent and quick moves to disrupt the offensive line. LeBron Ray is going to is looking to have the first season where he can play it through without injuries, and I think Alabama is going to be able to get a lot of him and the rest of this defensive line in 2021. Freddie Roach is the defensive line coach and has done an excellent job with this group up to this point. He brings a lot of discipline and is willing to work with his players like LeBron Ray as well. This defensive line group has a lot of potential in 2021. They will have to replace Christian Barmore, but if guys like Fedarian Mathis and LeBron Ray ready to take on the SEC this upcoming season. The next video in our series will be covering the linebackers of Alabama, but until then you can go check out the rest of our YouTube page by subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button along with the super thanks button as well. Go to BamaInsider.com, check out articles by staff writer Tony Sukalis and Andrew Bone, and get the latest recruiting updates with our big boards. For BamaInsider.com, my name is Trey Yannity, this has been the two biggest storylines, episode number five.